Thank you, thank you. Okay, finally, please welcome to the platform the president of the European left, a seasoned politician, a man I have huge respect for and have had the pleasure of working with a few times in order to promote the collaboration, the unity of true democracy. Walter Bayer. <laughs> you have one. Dear comrades and friends, when we started preparing this event, we asked ourselves what is the purpose of it. I mean, it's not an electoral event. It's meant to bring together people regardless of if they are part of a party, belong to a party, and parties, regardless of if they belong to the European left party or to the left group in the European Parliament or not. Actually, the purpose of this event is to give a signal of willingness for dialogue and for cooperation among the left in Europe. And we need this cooperation and we need this dialogue. And that's why I want to thank all the parties and all the people who are present here showing this willingness. I want to thank particularly the Workers' Party of Belgium, Akel and Levitzer, who joined forces with us. <laughs> this event is not about ideology. This is not even about us. This event is about the people and demands of the people. We want to support collective actions for decent pay of the people, for affordable housing, for public services which are universally accessible for everybody who is in need, for the elderly, for the young, for the kids, for public education, for public health, for public care. And if I listen carefully, which was said here at the panels, there is so much agreement amongst us. So let's join forces to achieve all these necessary things which are needed for creating decent life for the people in Europe and in the, uh, and in the world in general. The second remark which I uh, would like to make concerns ecology. I fully agree with uh, our comrade from Ireland who said it is a mistake to believe that the worry about the ecological situation in the world is the privilege of the educated middle classes. There can be only an ecological transition if it is carried out by the working people, by the farmers, by the women, and by the men who want to do this in social security and in social justice. And that's why the demand for a just transition directive forwarded by the E2EC is of such a central importance. <laughs> Third, there will not be an ecological transition, there will not be social equality unless it is a feminist revolution. <laughs> and that's why we support the fight of the women for equal pay, for protection of patriarchal violence, for equal chances for women and for everybody in education, in professional life, for being protected of rape through a general definition of rape in all the European Union applicable for equal rights for everybody here in our <laughs> continent. And finally, everything we imagine and everything we dream remains hypothetically hypothetical unless we can maintain peace in Europe and in the world. And that's why we demand after 500,000 deaths in the Ukraine, stop this war now. Ceasefire, <laughs> negotiations, <laughs> withdrawal of the Russian troops. 
We demand from the European Union, from Ursula von der Leyen, instead of saying we will support this war however long it may last, take political and diplomatic initiatives to help to come about with a political and a diplomatic solution of this war. <laughs> and at the same way, we say stop the genocide in Gaza, free Palestine, <laughs> Palestinian lives, Israeli lives matter, and they matter equally. And we demand from the European Union to recognize the Palestinian people's rights of a self-determined, de self self-governed state which is viable and which is secure. And again, the European Union must stop the double standards and the hypocrisy. On the one day, saying we want that Israel stops the killing, but at the same time, continuous supplying weapons for that this killing can go on. And to wrap up, there is the serious threat of the rise of the far right. In one third of the member states of the European Union, far right parties are the strongest parties according to the polls. The European left in the broadest sense has the duty to be available for broad alliances with the trade unions, with the social movements, with everybody available to block the way of the far right to power. But in order to be credible, to be effective, the left in Europe must be united. <laughs> we want to see a united left in the shop floors, in the municipalities, in the municipalities and in the parliament, and also in the European Parliament. We want to see a strong united left in the European Parliament after the forthcoming elections. <laughs> and we want everybody to assume his and her responsibility to make this happen. Comrades and friends, this is the moment in which the left must unite. United, we can make a peaceful, a solidaristic Europe. United, we can win a just transition. United, we can win, and united, we will win. Thank you very much. You don't need to stay in your staying. Thank you. A very special thank you to Walter, thank you. And a very special thank you to our co-organizers. A huge thank you for all the hard work that has gone into this evening from some wonderful people I'm looking at now. People at the sound, people recording, people taking uh, the registration, everybody, it's a collective. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Photos. Um, I'd like to make one announcement where we can all come together. We've got the European Forum happening in November in uh, Budapest. It would be wonderful, wonderful to see you all there, your children, your parents, your sisters, your brothers, bring everybody. Yeah, let's start to populate these special spaces that these wonderful people have created for us to come together. Finally, before, we, before I let you back into the open space to mingle and talk to some of our speakers, can I welcome all of our speakers back onto the stage tonight? And we'd like to do a little photo op. Yes. Can we get all our photos? Alison forgot one important person who have contributed to this event, which is you, Alison. Thank oh, you oh. very much <laughs> for having guided us so to this wonderful <laughs> event. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's a pleasure. Please, speakers, come up. Come up to the stage. We'd like to take a photo. Um, we have a photographer. Where do you want us for? The lady in the green top. 
is the master of ceremonies here. <laughs> you have to come forward, I think, Bernard.